Hello, Internet. It's your not so blurry boy turned VTuber Vincent, and today we're going to be asking the question Is Windows XP still usable in 2021? Now, of course, support for XP has been long gone for a while now, so things like playing on Steam are going to be out of the question. Though, to be fair, I hardly actually play anything in the first place besides Minecraft, so yeah, oh well. But that's besides the point. We're not looking for raw gaming performance. We're just trying to see if you can live in a world where everyone's been isolated for a solid year because of a raging pandemic that's taken the lives of millions upon millions of people, plunging livelihoods and economies alike into ruin and further bleakening the outlook of the up-and-coming generations such as the one I myself belong to. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... We're just trying to see if you can live with having to use Windows XP for the most common stuff that you do with a computer. So, anyway, I've thrown together a pile of kind of modern stuff to give XP as much room as possible to stretch its legs. And now, without further ado, let's cut to RL Techie and look at some specs. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so spec-wise, even though we're running Windows XP, we do have relatively powerful processor, being a Core i5-2400 back from 2011. And yeah, this is a CPU that can run between 3.1 and 3.4 gigahertz. It's not overclockable, but that's not exactly the focus here. We're just using an ASUS motherboard, and we actually have a graphics card, being the NVIDIA GTX 645, which is just a OEM card that I happened to find on eBay. So anyway, as far as additional hardware, we also, well, I also threw in a Sound Blaster, which I'm not sure if it shows up all that well on the camera, but here it is. The Sound Blaster Live 24 bit, it's just that the speakers kind of suck on the setup overall, so it's a little bit quiet. So anyway, as far as actually doing stuff, even though it's Windows XP and even though you clearly shouldn't be using it in this day and age, you can if you really want to and if you're willing to take the risk. So you can, for example, browse YouTube. And once again, this is using that same custom build of Pale Moon that I found called New Moon that was backported to Windows XP. This is version 28.7, made by RoyTam1 on GitHub. And yeah, you can... I don't know, I will just click on this. And yeah, videos play just fine. Advertisements clearly play just fine. Come on. I guess you're watching it ad by force. <laughs> so yeah, this is running at 1080p. There are pretty much no skipped frames. Yeah, there's zero dropped frames right there. So yeah, YouTube works just fine. It is a little bit laggy, though. So I think... Yeah. And also, memory usage on XP is very small compared to more modern operating systems like Windows 10 or even like Windows 7. Like, this is YouTube in 1080p, and we're only using 600 megabytes of memory. Technically page file, but still. So that works just fine. Of course, you can still just do your usual office-y stuff using like LibreOffice or Microsoft Office or whatever Office suite you want to use. So let me zoom out again. So yeah, you can write Word documents. Works just fine, no lag there. That's all thanks to, you know, having a much more powerful processor than a Pentium 4. and. In fact, we can actually even do a little bit of 3D modeling. So let me just load up the file that I had here. And would you look at that? This is fully hardware accelerated 3D using the GTX 645 that I mentioned before. And if I want to turn on viewpoint rendering, 
it actually works pretty well. Of course, this is the older 2.76 version of Blender, which is the last version to officially support XP. It's been a long time since I've worked with anything from Blender 2.7, but yeah, this is just a simple array of things that I made that I just kind of threw together. A bit of reflection, and the background is just a bunch of noise texturing. And also there's a purple spotlight that you cannot see in this mode. There's the purple spotlight. And yeah, if we want to like fully render it, you can do that too. It's just, you know, a bit slow considering the age of the hardware that this is running on. But once again, it's possible. And I just realized how washed out this screen is on the camera. But trust me, it, it is rendering. <laughs> so yeah, let's just stop that. Don't save changes. And last but not least, Minecraft. But you may be wondering, Minecraft hasn't run on Windows XP in a while. How are, am I? How am I going to do this? Wow, I can really English today. Well, once again, we are going back to our friend AT Launcher. It's a completely open source alternative to the native Minecraft launcher. It runs on Java 8, which is the last version that supports Windows XP. Though that does mean that there is no Minecraft 1.17 that you can play once that comes out. But you still can play 1.16.5 without much trouble. You just kind of got to wait for my internet to catch up for a moment. I don't exactly have the best internet. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on. Eh. Eh. Really now. Really? Am I about to have a video just held up by slow internet? There's literally no activity happening on the router right now. I think the modem died again. The cable modem. Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's launching. That certainly took a little while. Let's zoom out a little bit. Try not to move the phone too much on the tripod mount. And there we go. It's Minecraft 1.16.5. It's actually loading pretty fast as well, considering how it's running off of a mechanical laptop hard drive. So we got single player, we've got just a amplified world that I've gone ahead and named FPS test, and we're just gonna fly through it for a little bit in creative mode, just to give you an idea of how it's running. Oh, and I'll go ahead and pull up task manager as well, just to show the resources. And hey, look, it's painting with Windows, oh. Okay, no painting with Windows XP. There we go. So I have task manager just in the corner there. Got to wait for the world to render in at first. Don't worry, it starts to stabilize as far as FPS goes after a little bit. But yeah, this graphics card is still relatively modern, I'd say. It's definitely older, but it does the job. Why is Minecraft still lagging this much? Come on, load in the world. Granted, I do have all the settings absolutely maxed out right now for the purpose of, you know, once again, stress testing stuff. And I don't think that loading off of a mechanical drive is really helping as far as loading the world in. And yeah, I don't have Optifine, I don't have Fabric or anything. Okay, there we go, now it's caught up. Uh, let me adjust the um, what's, what's it called? GUI, GUI scale. There we go. I like that scaling better. So yeah, if you take a look up in that top left corner there, we are getting a 
relatively steady 30 or so FPS, dipping down to 20 in some places. And this is a amplified world. Oh, that was a lag spike there. Obviously the CPU is definitely holding things back just based off of how it looks in Task Manager. It's hitting 100% all the time. I don't have MSI Afterburner or anything installed though, so I can't exactly monitor the GPU usage. Ooh, okay. I think there might be some sand physics happening with this part of the world that I was flying in. Come on, get me out of the desert. Away from the sand physics. And RAM usage is actually also pretty good because as you can see, it's only about 2.09 or so gigs of memory. And this stands in comparison to other operating systems that, you know, are much more modern, like once again, Windows 10, stuff like that, where they would probably be using more around four or five gigs right now just for running the operating system in the background while Minecraft is open. So Windows XP is definitely a lightweight operating system by today's standards. It definitely wasn't, you know, by the standards back then, though given how it had a re memory requirement of 64 megabytes, it's definitely still pretty lightweight. So yeah, anyway, now that we're in an area where we don't have to worry so much about sand, we're just generating new chunks now because I don't remember ever flying around in a grassy area before. And yeah, the FPS is actually pretty good up here. I saw a spike up to 95 for a moment. And these speakers really aren't giving the Sound Blaster any justice. So yeah, if you're just playing, like, walking around and stuff, you can definitely play Minecraft just fine. This is on, once again, everything just maxed out for vanilla Minecraft. We've got fabulous graphics, maximum smooth lighting, just, you know, everything. So, yeah, Minecraft works just fine as well. Who knows, maybe I'll do another speedrun, so-called speedrun, on this computer. Because I did, you know, pull out my old computer's case and everything just to rebuild it. So, yeah. So anyway, Minecraft works, clearly. Though, not for long with 1.17 coming up. Let's adjust the tripod again. Quick game, close that, close that, and let's see, what else will I do before I stop? Hmm, I know what to do. I surely know what to do. Let's play some pinball. Time for the most intense gaming that you've ever seen. Wow! Look at those graphics. Look at that action! Wow, level up! Okay, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> So yeah, Windows XP, it's 20 plus years old now, but you know, actually, wait, when was Windows XP released again? <laughs> I actually, I said 20 plus years old, but I think it's actually turning 20, uh, Windows XP age. Let's see, what does the Wikipedia have to say? October 25th, 2001. Yeah, it's getting there. So anyway, almost 
20 year old operating system doing modern things. Who knew? So yeah, anyway, have the Windows XP shutdown noise. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good one.